Nola Jet here at the Green Room. Great food in here, yeah. Welcome to Nola Jet. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans Food Restaurant Review Vlog, we're on a travel search for best burger options in New Orleans. Visiting the Green Room, Pukanya, which is Russian for kitchen. I don't know Russian, so I'll probably mispronounce that. To sample some New Orleans style Eastern European food. The Green Room is located in New Orleans Treme neighborhood at 1300 St. Bernard Avenue, which is about five minutes, one mile away from the French Quarter. The Green Room is right at the intersection of St. Bernard Avenue and Marais Street, so you're lucky to get both a street sign and the sidewalk street markers for this business. Although sadly, the St. Bernard is missing one letter and it can't be replaced because they don't make these tiles anymore. The Green Room got their start at the nearby Siberia Lounge that's no longer in business and then they moved over here to this new location that I haven't visited yet. So let's head on inside here and check this place out. As this place is new to me, but I look forward to trying some of my old favorites again in here. So, you're invited to eat with me some New Orleans food as first we feast on a cheeseburger before enjoying beef borscht, beef stroganoff, and a Slavic sampler platter. So they've done a really good job of decorating this space. They've got a lot of interesting memorabilia on the walls and a lot of good artwork all around. So I like the layout of this spot got a lot more room to really spread out and eat than we did back at Siberia that was way more bar than restaurant. This is way more restaurant now so I'm liking the new look. They have a good sized bar as well though so this is definitely a good space overall so I'm glad to see what they've done with it and I look forward to enjoying some more of the delicious food that I know they do make here. So we're in for a treat with a huge Slavic food Eastern European food feast today. So this is gonna be quite a fun time and I'm so happy to be able to eat the food again here as I've really enjoyed everything I've ever tried from uh, this establishment. So let's take a look at the menu now. So on the first page we have drinks with soft drinks, Slavic sodas, beer, wine, vodka, the full bar and hot coffee or tea. Then on the next page, we have soups and salads with vegetarian borscht, beef borscht, house salad, beets and greens, asparagus salad, salad olivier, and then they have vegetarian options, vegan options, and gluten-free options. Then we have appetizers with Moscow doubles, Russian-style doubled eggs topped with red lumpfish caviar served with tart shredded carrot slaw, pierogi, eggplant ikra, Fries, fries and sauces, beer cheese fries, loaded fries, bellini, two East European style crepes with your choice of filling, sour cream and caviar, mushroom and spinach, Baltica beef, bellini trio. On the next page we have burgers, all burgers served on a wildflower egg and onion bun, plain Kaiser bun available upon request. So the regular burger, the beet burger, the black and blue burger, the pub burger, mushroom spinach burger, patty melt. Then we have sandwiches with Reuben sandwich, vegetarian beef Reuben, Omni Reuben, chicken Rizek cordon bleu, CB sandwich, grilled ham and cheese. Then on the next page we have entrees with chicken Rizek. Then we have mushroom galupsti, which is a cabbage roll, a meat galupsti, swoshka kielbasa, Slavic sampler, vegetarian Slavic sampler, braised beef stroganoff. And then we have a listing of all the sides available. So I'm gonna start out with the pub burger, which is salt and peppered all beef burger patty topped with sweet sauteed onions, cheddar cheese, lettuce, tomato pickles, and beer cheese spread on a buttered and grilled bun. And I added some mustard on it. Oh, I've had this in the past. It's always been a fantastic burger. Oh, and it's still a fantastic burger. This thing is really delicious. This is definitely one of the best burgers in the New Orleans area. It's got a lot of flavor. It's really delicious. They perfectly cook the meat. There's just so many good flavors going on and the bun goes with it perfectly. There's excellent structural integrity. All of this wonderful beer cheese spread is holding everything together. So structural integrity is most excellently maintained for the entire burger structure. So things do tend to stay on here really great and the flavor is amazing. So every time I've enjoyed the burger here, it's really great. So it's definitely one of the top items I would say if you're ever here to try out. 
The meat is certainly juicy and delicious and has a lot of flavor that all combines very well with the bun and everything just really combines so well on here. The beer cheese is also a really unique touch that I don't know of any other place in the New Orleans area that even offers a beer cheese like this on a cheeseburger. So that really makes that aspect stand out as well. The bun quality is really outstanding. I think this is one of the best buns of any of the burgers you can get around New Orleans. And it certainly maintains structural integrity far better than most. Now look at here, I've totally destroyed the burger, so go ahead and destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about my burger. And while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account, because hey, I work for tips and appreciate any assistance with that. So the total for my burger and an iced tea was $13.22 before tip, and next I'm having some delicious beef borscht. Ooh. So I've had this before, and I look forward to digging in here again. So, mmm, there's a big dollop of sour cream in there. Got a nice garlic roll with it, and look at that nice beef in there. Got a little sour cream, the nice redness from the beets, and then some cabbage in there. Oh, a borscht is definitely good when it's done right, and they definitely do it right here. Oh, that's some beautiful looking cabbage here, and it tastes fantastic. So, a borscht is a really fantastic soup that just isn't that common around the uh, American South. We've ended up with a very low number of Eastern European Slavic restaurants overall in the entire area of the American South. So, as far as I know, this is the only Slavic restaurant in all of New Orleans. And there used to be a Russian restaurant in Memphis, but that closed and is long gone now. So there just aren't that many of uh, these types of restaurants we find typically. So I'm really glad that we have the green room so I can enjoy food like this. All right, I'm about to totally finish off this borscht. Just like I've destroyed the borscht, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about the borscht. And while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because hey, I work for tips and I appreciate any assistance with that. Now it's time for the Slavic vegetarian sampler platter. So we've got some cabbage rolls, some pierogi, some sweet onions and sour cream, and garlic buttered roll here, and some asparagus. So I'm gonna start off with a cabbage roll here. Ooh, there's really a lot of fantastic flavor in the cabbage roll. It's got so much good stuff in here. There's just multiple layers of all kinds of great flavors in here that really are popping. And uh, it really is one of the best cabbage rolls I've ever had. It's got so much different depth of flavor. Uh, most of the cabbage rolls that we get around here are just cabbage wrapped around some hamburger meat and that's it. And maybe uh, it'll be mixed in with some rice. So just meat and rice. This cabbage roll has so much stuff going on. I have no idea what all's in it. I'm seeing some uh, peas and then there's what maybe seems to be some tomatoes or some other kind of red item. Okay, let's try one of these pierogies now and put a little sour cream on it. So, ooh, it all just smells and looks so good. This plate's a good thing to share with another person, uh, but I like it so much I've got to try more of it. Oh, okay, so the pierogi's got a nice sweet flavor to it. There's some sweet onions in there and they really go well with the sour cream. So that's got a really nice flavor to it with all of the combinations of everything in there. And then the... Uh, Little dumpling of it really tastes well. It's almost like a little dim sum to it in some ways. Let's get one of these asparagus stalks here and try that out with some of the deli mustard. And oh, okay, so the asparagus tastes like asparagus. So it's cooked perfectly though, and uh, it's exactly the way I like it. Let's get a little more of this sour cream here and uh, finish off this other pierogi. Ooh, yes. So this thing's uh, definitely a nice, delicious little dumpling packet of goodness. And then uh, some more of this cabbage roll here. Ooh, these things are really tasty. And you can see all the vegetables inside of it. So I think maybe uh, definitely some peas, maybe some carrot in there even. So there's a lot of things in there that are all delicious and wonderful. And we gotta polish off the rest of this cabbage roll here. And each and every bite is really flavorful. It's got all the different flavor components that are just so simple and good at the same time. It all tastes so very fresh and wonderful. And there's just flavors explosion just from the flavor of mostly, I think, the wonderful freshness of the vegetables in here and the uh, really great way they've been cooked. 
So it's not overly spiced, it's just really flavorful in every bite. I believe this is the uh, capusta or the sauerkraut. And mm, yep, this is sauerkraut. And so it's really good. It's thicker cut than I'm used to, but it's still got the same flavor as sauerkraut. I gotta use some more of this deli mustard on my roll here because I love some good mustard and this is really delicious mustard. And it's a pretty decent roll here. So we gotta make full use of all of the delicious ingredients here. Make sure we eat our different items on here to clean our plate and make a good show of having a good time with our Slavic sampler plate. Yes, so many good things on here. Ooh. So, uh, you know, it's just a uh, roll, but with the mustard, that really kicks it up a level. Now I put a little of the capusta sauerkraut on here too. And that's all going together really well. So I like all those flavors in there. So it's a nice little combination. So I'm enjoying all of that together. So that makes for an enjoyable little snack here, definitely. So all those flavors go together quite well. So I'm definitely enjoying this. Okay, that's my last bite, and I've totally destroyed the sampler plate. So, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about the Slavic sampler platter. And while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account, because, hey, I work for tips, and I appreciate any assistance with that. And here we go with the stroganoff, a little glorious beef stroganoff. This looks amazing. It's such a huge serving. I've rarely been able to finish an entire serving of this. This is such a huge serving. I almost always have some to go, so I don't think we'll be changing that today. Comment below if you think I can finish this huge serving or not. So if you're ever really hungry, this would definitely be the dish for you, or you could easily split this between two people. So this is really a great value, and they give you so much food for your money. This is definitely a really great deal that will certainly give you a lot of enjoyment. So the beef in here is really tender and cooked perfectly and it goes so well with the sauce and these egg noodles here. So it's a very hearty dish and it's just so wonderfully balanced with all the flavors and tastes. And it's just a really great thing to go and uh, eat, especially when it's cold outside. I really like it then. But even though it's hot right now, I still like it. So now my appetite's been totally destroyed. So go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about the beef stroganoff in my nice little to-go box there. And while you're down there commenting, check out the link to my Patreon account because, hey, I work for tips and appreciate any assistance with that. So the total for all that food was $34.16 before tip. And thanks so much to everybody at the Green Room for all of this fantastic food. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolajet channel, especially to my Patreons. So make sure to share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it. And make sure to tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there, and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.